Good morning students. Today I will teach you about coordinate geometry. You will learn in this lesson how to identify x and y coordinates in a coordinate plane and how to plot and locate the coordinates in the four quadrants. So for that please remember these basic points. To locate the position of a point on a plane we require a pair of coordinate axes. The distance of a point from the y axis is called its x coordinate or epsica. The distance of a point from the x axis is called its y coordinate or ordinate. The coordinates of a point on the x axis are of the form x0 and of a point on the y axis are of the form 0y. Let's look at the x and the y axis. These axes are used to recognize a point on one plane, one single plane. This plane is called the Cartesian plane. As we can see, the Cartesian plane is divided into four parts or regions. This one, this one, this one and this one. Each of them is called a quadrant. The quadrants are named in a particular order which we have to strictly follow. This region is the first quadrant. In the first quadrant, as we can see, the x as well as the y coordinates are positive. Moving in the anti-clockwise direction, we name this quadrant the second quadrant. In this quadrant, the x coordinates are negative while the y coordinates are positive. So remember, for the first two quadrants, the y coordinates are positive. Moving in the anti-clockwise direction, this is the third quadrant where the x as well as the y values are negative. This region is the fourth quadrant. The x coordinates are positive and the y coordinates are negative. Does that mean that every point on the plane will lie in any one of the quadrants? Let's mark a few points on the plane and see which quadrants they lie in. Let's assume I mark point A here. This point lies in the second quadrant. So we write A2 here. Point A lies in the second quadrant. Let's assume I mark point B here. This point is in the first quadrant. We write B first here. Point C is marked here as it lies in the third quadrant. We write C3. And this is point D. It is in the fourth quadrant. Now let's look at something interesting. What about this point E? Which quadrant does it lie in? First quadrant or the second one? We say that point E lies on the Y axis. What about point F here? Yes, point F lies on the X axis. What does this tell us? It means that each point on a plane lies either on one of the axes or in one of the quadrants. Now you have learned about coordinates and how to locate the points on the coordinate plane. Here you can see this x coordinate is also called epsica and y coordinate is also called ordinate. Well, can you tell me 1, 0 lies in which quadrant? Yes. Its answer is none because points which lie on the axis do not lie in any quadrant. Now it's your turn. Good job. You have answered all the questions.